Hello Libra, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. What do we got? So we got two cards. So we do have free yourself and then we also have express your love. The first thing that came to my mind is spit it out already, spit it out already. I feel like there's, there's something that somebody wants to communicate to you Libra, um, but I kind of feel like it kind of feels like it kind of feels like the seven of wands to the eight of wands right there there's a level of hesitation coming from this person when it comes down to communicating i would say whatever it is that they need to communicate to you um of course you could find yourself in this overall energy but i feel like there's something that someone wants to tell you but there's there's hesitation coming from this person for whatever reason, and we're going to see why that is. Um, but we are going to focus on you first, Libra, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Let's see what's going on. How does Libra currently view this relationship? Okay. I mean, so far so good. I don't feel like you need to communicate absolutely anything to absolutely anyone, in my personal opinion. Um, so it's more than likely coming from somebody that you are connecting with. Because I'm kind of getting the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands with this person. You could be dealing with a fire sign strongly. So an Aries Leo, maybe even a Sag, doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But I see you starting a whole new chapter here with someone. With the Six of Cups coming out here, this could definitely imply that you and this person have shared many, many past lives with one another, but you're currently connecting with someone that you definitely see yourself having a future with. This is somebody that you do want to pursue a long-term committed relationship with. The fact that we have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups out here is also implying that this is somebody that you do have a lot of emotions for, but I feel like you're starting a whole new chapter slash cycle for yourself here with someone. Whoever the someone is, like I said, you could have shared many past lives with this person, but overall, you know, this is somebody who makes you really happy. This is somebody that you can totally see yourself having a future with. All right, let's look at your human. Let's see what's going on with them. How does this person currently view? Mm. Okay. Okay, we have the, all right, we have the Ten of Swords. We got the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the uh, Two of Wands. Okay, so this kind of feels like an overall energy of doubt coming from this person. Yeah, this feels like an overall energy of doubt coming from this person in regards to their relationship with you. So this person is definitely filled with a lot of doubt here. It's one thing that I will say. I really want to entertain this Four of Pentacles for whatever odd reason. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Okay. So, all right, let's talk. Okay, so this person, like I said, they're they're in an energy and they're in this energy and it's it's literally an energy of doubt is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Now, I'm going to be completely honest and I'm going to look a little bit more into this entire situation to see why this is even showing up here uh, for this person. But there's something about them essentially feeling like continuing to proceed forward within this dynamic that they share with you is only going to eventually backfire in their face which would be something that this person obviously wants to avoid uh from happening now why does this person think that continuing to involve themselves with you is eventually going to backfire in their face it's kind of beyond me and i'm kind of curious to see why this person th thinks why this person thinks that their involvement with you and proceeding forward within this dynamic that they share with you is going to eventually blow up in their face. Uh, what's interesting, though, is that we have the Three of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Ten of Cups, to the King of Swords. You're showing up as a Queen of Swords, which makes sense. I mean, you are a Libra. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Regardless of your gender, male or female, does it matter? We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. It's interesting because I kind of feel like they're allowing their mind to kind of run away with them uh, when it comes down to this relationship that they um, share with you. It's weird. Something's not adding up to me, though. Something doesn't make sense because there something doesn't some, something's not adding up here. Like something just does not make sense here because 
they're harnessing this energy of okay this is this is my human like this is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with and then all of a sudden it's like that's drastically starting to change here for this person and I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they are convinced that if they continue to proceed forward within this relationship that they share with you somehow some way it's going to backfire in their face which is something that they want to avoid from happening This person has a tower also out here for them, and uh, the tower is linked to the devil. Mm. The tower is linked to the devil. I could have sworn we spoke about this in one of your readings before. Let me look at the tower. Let me look at the tower. It, something's not adding up to me, though. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Four of Wands, and then we also have the um, Death card here for this person. Yeah, something's not adding up here because this person goes from, yeah, I really want this like for the rest of my life to like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Um, it, it's like they view their involvement with you like it's like a really, really freaking bad idea. But I don't feel like it is a bad idea. That's my thing. I don't feel like it's a bad idea. I don't feel like it's a bad idea. This person has a really bad habit, okay? A really, really bad habit. And the King of Swords, typically, like, we tend to get this for the King of Swords, um, which is Aquarian energy. So you could be dealing with Aquarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But we typically see this with the King of Swords. It's like the moment the King of Swords notices themselves developing a lot of emotions here for a person, the moment that the King of Swords notices themselves um, becoming emotionally attached, I would say, to a person is the moment that they find themselves freaking out, right? Because you got to understand, King of Swords, that's a, that's Aquarian energy. So these, these people typically don't, they don't like to ever approach a situation from an emotional standpoint. They like to approach a situation from a logical standpoint. So because this person kind of finds themselves, I would say, developing emotions here for you it kind of makes this person a little bit uncomfortable so which is just basically implying that this is somebody who's not in tune with their own emotional body so when they start feeling like you know they're starting to become emotionally attached to a person or they're starting to develop feelings for a person it does kind of freak them out because again these are people that operate from a logical standpoint 99.9% .9 of the time not necessarily from an emotional standpoint so this is that type of person that normally typically gets involved with people that they normally get involved with people that don't cause them to really feel anything so the fact that you're actually causing this human to actually feel it does kind of freak them out but that's because this person's not in tune with their own emotional body they actually like to um stay as detached as possible um, because this person knows that at the end of the day um suffering comes from attachment so because they're noticing themselves becoming emotionally attached to you, they run the risk of suffering one day, which is something that obviously this person wants to avoid. But I feel like this is like a habit of theirs. <laughs> it's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. This is a habit of theirs, of them doing this, right? The moment that they notice that they're starting to become emotionally attached to a person is a moment that they want to exit you know, that relationship as quickly as possible to avoid uh, suffering basically um and it kind of looks like this person is just kind of doing that again i don't feel like this is like the first time that this person has done this i feel like this person has a habit of doing this which is unfortunate because i don't think that they realize this but because they have a history of doing this and a habit of doing this like constantly you know running away from people that cause them to feel something because this is that type of person that likes to be numb in a relationship it's like the best way that i can describe the person that you're dealing with they like to be numb they don't like to feel absolutely anything okay like they like to remain as detached from their emotional body as possible because it makes them feel really uncomfortable and it kind of freaks them out just a little bit again this is somebody who's not in tune with their own emotions um they're not emotionally intelligent so then there's that right you however you don't have an issue you know with um being in your emotional body like this person does them being in their emotional body is not a pleasant experience for them is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here so anyways back to what i was going to say 
because this person has a habit, right, of like shying away from people that cause them to feel something right or they tend to shy away from people that they're starting to kind of realize they're becoming emotionally attached to they turn around and they self-sabotage it right um but i don't know if they realize that they are kind of breaking their own heart in the process of it all they're kind of breaking their own heart in the process of it all you know I don't feel like you're dealing with a bad person. I just kind of feel like you're dealing with somebody who does not like to be in their emotional body because they don't fully understand, you know, their emotions. Like, for example, you would, right? So then there's then there's that. But they're, it's weird. It, I mean, it's weird because if, I don't know, it's weird because I get the whole them being afraid, right? To become emotionally attached to someone because they know. They know that attachment comes from suffering. They know that all too well. But if they honestly take a step back and think about it, like they're trying to avoid pain. Yes, I get that. But they're causing themselves pain by like self-sabotaging this. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wait a minute. Okay. How does this person currently feel? Alright. Hmm, it doesn't look like you're trying to let this one go. Yeah, they're gonna try to break away. That's kind of besides the point here, and it's stemming from that place. It's stemming from that place of this connection's making me extremely uncomfortable. I'm starting to feel things. Does it? I, you know, they they don't know what they, what it means, and all they know is that they're noticing themselves becoming emotionally de emotionally attached to a person, and they don't like it. It makes them feel really uncomfortable. Is like the best way that I can describe what I'm seeing here. So they're going to break away from this connection. That's kind of besides the point. They're going to do it, right? And when they do do it, I kind of see you running after them. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Yeah, I see you running after this human, okay? But with the Seven of Wands coming out here, I feel like this is their energy. Like, this is them trying their hardest to push you away. And the only reason why they're pushing you away is because, again, they're noticing themselves becoming emotionally attached here. And to prevent suffering, um, they rather run away from this connection um, than to sit here and possibly suffer because you know they're emotionally attached you know to you it's like i'm trying to understand this person's logic but it's like i i can't i kind of understand it but then i kind of don't because i get the whole them wanting to avoid getting hurt and disappointed i understand that I get it, but then at the same exact time, it's like they're breaking their own heart in the process, which is making them naturally suffer. So it's like, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I, I, I guess I, I just don't understand the logic behind like this person fully. I mean, the only thing I can do is just explain to you what I'm seeing here. And hopefully, I don't know, like, you know, it makes sense, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense because it's weird. They're trying to avoid suffering by not becoming emotionally attached to a person but they're but they're they're inviting that energy of suffering by self-sabotaging this connection so it's like they're not really avoiding suffering here if you think about it am i going crazy or are you guys catching on to what i'm trying to say here it just they're trying to avoid suffering while inviting the energy of suffering into their life by self-sabotaging this connection here. I don't know. Let, let's move on. Let's move on. I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, so <laughs> how does Libra currently feel? Yeah. <clears throat> A lot, when this does play out, right, between you and this person, if it hasn't happened already, you're going to be extremely shocked by it. You're going to be extremely surprised by it. You're going to be extremely taken off guard by it. A lot of you are going to start, you know, thinking to yourself, man, did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Like, what did I do? Like, you know, that's why I see you running after them. That's why I see you trying to 
fix and repair things here between you and this person but you're gonna find yourself a little bit conflicted and confused when this does play out if it hasn't played out already and it has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of you feel like maybe you said something wrong maybe you did something wrong and that's why they're leaving you you know what i mean they're not leaving you because you did anything wrong they're leaving you for the exact reasons why i already you know said that they're leaving you you didn't do anything wrong you didn't do anything wrong you didn't do anything wrong it's so strange. It's so strange. You know what I just noticed, you guys? So there's two Ten of Swords. Come here. There's two Ten of Swords here in um, this deck. So they have the Ten of Swords that says everything is fine. And then they have the Ten of Swords that says literally the Ten of Swords, right? The fact that you have the Ten of Swords that says everything is fine and they have the Ten of Swords that says everything is fine... Is kind of making me feel like on an intuitive level I feel like your intuition is kind of telling you like I know it looks like it's over and I understand it might feel like it's over but this ain't over and I feel like on an intuitive level they kind of know that too so even though this person is uh, running for the hills right they kind of know that this ain't really over just yet it, I, you know what for the life of me I'm trying to understand the logic behind like I mean I, like I said I understand somewhat like where they're coming from right but it's like I don't know it's weird because it's like as much as they want to avoid suffering they put themselves in that predicament to suffer either which way by self-sabotaging this relationship so they're not really avoiding suffering you know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, I'm getting frustrated because it's like I want to understand where they're coming from, but it's it's hard because it doesn't it doesn't make any logical sense to me. Anyways, it doesn't. I mean, I get why they're freaking out because this is somebody who is does not like to like sit in their emotional body. It makes them extremely uncomfortable. Most of the time, they don't understand why they feel the way that they feel. Like, again, this is somebody who's very cerebral, very, very cerebral. So I understand why emotions would make this person feel a little bit uncomfortable and why it might scare them just a little bit because they don't understand their own emotions. This person's not emotionally intelligent, and that's fine. That's okay, right? Nothing wrong with, with that. But as far as, like, trying to avoid suffering but then causing it to yourself at the same exact time, is it, the, 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 con the concept of it all, it makes, it makes no sense to me. And it's just, like, it's bothering me because I don't, I want to understand where they're coming from, but I just, I can't. I, I just, I don't, I don't. What actions will this person take towards Libra? <clears throat> Okay, we have the justice card, we have the wheel of fortune, and then we also have the world for this person. Mm, 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 tell me more about the world. We got some heavy hitters though out here. I okay, I feel like that's I, I feel like that's kind of what this person needs to learn and master here when it comes down to their involvement here with you, because there's a reason why you're in this person's life okay you're not in this person's life just because you know what i mean um i feel like you're in this person's life uh to teach them many many lessons one being the one important lesson that i would say that this person needs to learn from their involvement with you is to become a little bit more comfortable with their emotional body which is something that makes them extremely extremely uncomfortable it's not even funny okay um, this again, you might be dealing with an Aquarius or this person probably has um, Aquarius within their chart somewhere. Um, but like I said, Aquarian ener energy, I mean, the, these people are known for being emotionally detached. They don't like to base their decisions off of how they feel or whatever the case may be. Like they, they just don't function and or operate that way. Um, and most of them don't fully understand their own emotions, right? Because they're very cerebral people. So it kind of looks like this person needs to learn how to become a little bit more comfortable sitting in their emotional body. Um, not only that, not only that, but I kind of feel like 
this person needs to break um, a really bad habit of theirs. Um, and I feel like that really bad habit has a lot to do with what I already said. Like, this is not the first time that this person does this. There's just no way that this is the first time. There's just no way. There's, there's no way that this is the first time that this person has done this before. There, there's no, I refuse to believe that this person hasn't done this before. This is this is a really bad habit that this person has been doing. I almost want to say for many years. It's like the moment somebody causes this person to feel something. It's like they freak out because they don't know what it means and they don't know what's going on and it scares them. And so it kind of looks like this person's supposed to break a really bad habit through their involvement with you and become more comfortable with their emotional body. Not only that, right? Not only that, but this is somebody who typically does not do well um, when it comes down to the level of the unknown, right? They don't do well with the level of the unknown. This is that type of person that needs to be certain about absolutely every little thing they get involved in, right? And because this entire situation brings a level of uncertainty into their life, they don't like it. They don't like it. They do not like it. It makes them feel uncomfortable. It kind of freaks them out just a little bit because this is somebody who has to be certain about absolutely everything, right, that they get themselves into. So there is a level of uncertainty when it comes down to you because there is no telling that you're going to turn around and betray them and or see them. There is no telling that you're going to turn around and do that. I'm not saying that you are going to do that, but there is no telling if one day you just might, right? Um, and that in itself really does worry and concern this person because they're being they're being they're being forced to see a situation through that they don't really know the outcome to and that kind of freaks them out hopefully i'm explaining this person to the best of my ability but what's interesting is that i feel like this is one thing that this person's not paying attention to and it's this overall energy um, this overall energy has a lot to do with the way that this relationship makes them feel. You know, there's a reason why this person feels absolutely drawn to you. There's a reason why this person um, is kind of curious, right, to see where life takes the both of you. There's a reason why they feel really, really good about you. There's a reason why being with you feels right. There's a reason why this person can see themselves having a future here. There's a reason behind it all. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's going over this person's head like a carry-on bag. It's like they rather it's like they rather get into their head about this entire situation than to go based off of what their intuition is telling them and what their soul is telling them. So there's a lot of things that this person needs to kind of learn and master through their involvement with you because if they don't what's going to end up happening is that let's just say this relationship goes south between you and them and y'all never see each other ever again. It is a guarantee that this person will eventually get involved with someone else. And the moment that person just so happens to cause this person to feel something, right? Um, they're going to turn around and self-sabotage it because it makes them uncomfortable. And that's something that they don't like. But let's just be real. Who likes being uncomfortable? Nobody, right? I feel like this person is just simply being pushed out of their comfort zone and they don't like it. They, they, just, they just don't like it, you know? Um... This is another thing that this person is going to have to overcome. I feel like this person is going to be learning a lot through their involvement with you. There's a lot of stuff that's uh, coming out here for this person. A lot. Okay. Um, this is another thing. And I say this about the Nine of Pentacles a lot. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, um, this type of individual has a very difficult time... Um, being a full-blown committed relationship with a person and it has a lot to do with the fact that you know someone like this has the mentality of i don't need a man for anything i don't need a woman for anything which is fine that's great right but but at the same exact time that's what that's what causes this person to constantly find themselves you know alone right and i'm a firm believer that nobody was brought into this world to be alone okay we were not designed to be alone okay we just weren't designed you know we were designed to you know eventually meet someone and build a life with someone so no we none, none of us were designed to be alone i understand that we have our seasons where we're single and we're alone but we're not designed to be alone we're just not right and i kind of feel like this is why they constantly find themselves single and alone and it has a lot to do with their i don't even know what to call it 
It has a lot to do with everything that I already mentioned. To not sound like a broken record, Libra. It has a lot to do with that. It has a lot to do with that. This is somebody who never feels safe and secure with a person. Never. Never, never, never. Never. So this is why this person prefers, I would say, this is, yeah, more than likely. This is why this person prefers to be single and alone because in their mind they're avoiding pain they're avoiding betrayal they're avoiding a lot of things right which is which i understand that i completely understand that but deep down inside this person doesn't really want to be single they don't really want to be alone it's like they do crave to be in a relationship with someone and the reason why they crave it is because we weren't designed to be alone right um but this entire situation requires them to face a lot of things that they don't want to face okay um We'll see what they plan on doing. What actions will Libra take towards this person or moving forward? Okay, let's do this. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. And then we also have the Magician out here. Yeah, you're running back. You're running back to them. It's like an overall energy of like you not wanting to lose this person. You need to be very careful with your words, Libra. Um, I'm also kind of getting that. You need to be very careful with your words. I mean, this could be a fear that you've always had, I would say, when it comes down to this person as far as losing them. Um, you, you need to be careful with your words, right? You need to be very, very careful with your words. Because, you know, it's, it's even, they even say it in the Bible, right? Um, your tongue is very, very powerful. It's very, very powerful. So... You know, for some of you, that could have, like I said, overall been a fear that you had, right? When it came down to getting involved with this person, is possibly losing them one day, right? And you may have communicated to this person, you know, time and time again, I feel like I'm going to lose you. I feel like I'm going to lose you. You know what I mean? So just be very, very careful with your words um, and the things that you kind of put out there, right? Because your tongue is very powerful, okay? Um, what's going to end up happening here between Libra and this person? Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Pentacles, and then we also have the uh, Six of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands. I feel like you guys are gonna be okay. I feel like you guys are gonna be okay. One thing that I really recommend, though, throughout your involvement here with this person is to allow them to take the lead. Allow them to take the lead here in this entire situation. Don't turn around and try to force for anything, please, to transpire here between you and this person. Allow this person to take the lead. Allow this person to adapt to what's going on here between you and them. Because if I'm just going based off of the cards that this person's getting... Yeah, if I'm just going based off of the cards that they're getting, this is not somebody that I would like push anything serious upon. Um, so that's why I'm saying I, I think that you should allow them to take the lead. Just just know this, right? Because it already showed up here for this person. This is somebody who does see themselves having a future here with you. This is somebody who does want to build and establish a life here with you. But I think that this is somebody that you just simply need to allow to kind of take the lead here. Don't try to come in and, and try to push for something serious here with this person because it's going to prompt this person to feel pressured into something that they may not be ready for, okay? So just keep that in mind. What else can you tell me for Libra? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, we got the Seven of Pentacles, and then we also have the uh, King of Wands. Yeah, you're going to have to definitely utilize a lot of patience here. Uh, with this person if in all actuality this is what you want okay which it does appear to me that this is um what you want libra you're just gonna have to like i said overall utilize a lot of patience here what does libra need to be aware of okay so you need to be aware of this little stunt that they're about to pull here now for some they've already pulled it for others they're going to pull it very very soon but you need to be aware of that also too when this does play out relax okay relax everything is gonna be fine you guys everything is gonna be fine okay this relationship is not coming to an end granted when it does happen you're gonna you're gonna feel like oh my god 
that's it, I'm losing them forever, but you're not, you're not. I really want to see why we're getting Express Your Love um, out here for you, um, because again, I was getting like the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands. Why are we getting Express Your Love here for Libra? Okay, so we do have the Page of Cups. We got the uh, three. Of... That's where it was coming from. Because I was like, wait a minute. Why are we getting that, right? So remember when I was saying like the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands were like, Somebody wants to kind of like communicate something here um, to you, but there's a level of hesitation. Um, the fact that this person showed up as the King of Swords is very important because that's gonna, that tells that says a lot about the person that you're connecting with. Again, this is somebody who doesn't like living in their emotional body. So don't expect this person to be overly emotional. You know what I mean? Also too, they're going to be very secretive when it comes down to how they actually feel about you. Cause again, you're dealing with a king of swords, male or female doesn't matter, but that's just how they operate. That's how they function. Um, so yeah, I am kind of getting that. Um, I, uh, mm, I kind of feel like there is a lot of emotions that they would like to express in your direction um but it kind of looks like they're they're choosing not to it kind of looks like they're just choosing not to um because i do see them expressing emotion in your direction it's just not as much as you are you know what i mean um and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they like to kind of keep how they feel about an individual to themselves uh to be completely honest and that could be out of fear of those emotions being used against them. I mean, that's definitely a possibility, but I can tell that they want to open up more to you and let you in. But again, it's like, they're kind of scared to do all of that. So again, I feel like it's just going to take some time for this person to kind of warm up to what you guys have going on here. But when this does play out, don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Like, you guys are going to be fine. I just kind of feel like they're kind of freaking out just a little bit. And that's what's kind of prompting them to do everything that they're doing here on um, on their end. Okay. Let's ask one more time. You could be dealing with another Libra too. Um, all right. What's the outcome ultimately between these two lovebirds? Okay. Yeah. This, this is not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not convinced that it's over, you guys, nor am I worried or concerned, to be completely honest. Now, are you going to be worried and concerned, dude, when this plays out? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to freak out. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm losing my baby. But you're not losing your baby, okay? This this relationship isn't going anywhere. Yeah, this, this relationship between you and this person, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And deep down inside, you kind of know that. And deep down inside, they kind of know that. They're just allowing their mind to run away with them. That is literally it, you guys. That's it. That's all we're seeing here. Fear is starting to get the best of them. And because fear is starting to get the best of them, they want to run in the opposite direction. Um, not only that, but it's because they're becoming emotionally um, attached here and they know it. And it's causing them to freak out even more, which is prompting them to do what they're doing here. But outside of that, this, this connection is not going anywhere. You don't have anything to worry about. I just kind of feel like it is going to take, I would say, a while for them to, like, fully warm up to you in this connection that they share with you, as well as allow themselves to become emotionally attached and invested here. Because at the end of the day, the only reason why they're not as emotionally attached to you as you are to them has a lot to do with the fact that, well, we already talked about it. It makes them extremely uncomfortable. Not only that, but... They don't fully trust this entire situation just yet between you and them. So, no, I don't, nope, I don't, mm -mm, nope. I don't see this person, um, I, I just don't see this person allowing themselves to become too emotionally invested here when it comes down to you because in their mind, anything can happen, right? Um, but I do feel like eventually, like, they'll, they'll open up to this connection and they'll embrace this connection. It's just going to take some time. You know what I mean? Look at them like like they're an ice cube. You know what I mean? It's going to take some time for that ice to melt, honey. Okay? Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to uh, follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.